interested Ghanaians, some who may never have had any digital skills at all, can go there and acquire those skills. And it's ongoing. We're training 14,000 people in three years. So, 14,000 in yes. three years. But the beauty of this project is that it's sustainable because the managers of these centers are acquiring the skills so that even after this project closes, they can continue. We've trained trainers who can continue to train people even after the project closes. The centers are going to be re-equipped with uh, up-to-date ICT um, devices on, and they have connectivity and they'll be given Cisco certification because they're giving Cisco training at these centers. Yes, yes, yes. And it's around the country, not just Accra, Kumasi, Takradi or Tamale, but in very, very small villages. I think that one of the training sessions just closed in Chebi. That was one of the places that they, 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 were, they were training trainers at. So the trainers are going back mm. to their CICs and the project is taking off. So I'm understandably excited that through that too, we're addressing the digital skills gap around the country. So mm -hmm. any interested person can just walk into any of these CICs and be enrolled onto the project. And after the training period, you are not just getting training, but you are getting world-class certification from mm -hmm. Cisco as well. Mm -hmm. So that also ties in with the, the Twitter uh, coming in. Was which, was, which was just what I was about oh, to okay. ask you about next. Because you mentioned the 26 technology hubs, and as we understood it from the coverage surrounding the announcement by Twitter that it was establishing its African headquarters here in Accra, that um, uh, the fact of having this decentralized system of training people up in digital skills was one of the great attractions of coming to Ghana. So it's not something that is localized and all centered in one area, and it can actually spread out. Uh, if you like, its its message and its uh, its facilities across the country. Um, so, um, how uh, confident are you in relation to Twitter? The great, you know, kind of the the sixty four thousand dollar question is uh, it, it being a great thing. Uh, Twitter opening up in Accra, but are they actually going to employ that many Ghanaians? How confident are you that we are actually upskilling uh, our own people? and making, taking advantage of, for example, fantastic things like the enthusiasm for robotics in that Methodist girls' school in Manfi. How are we capitalizing on that to make sure that we have the people who can drive these new information and technology industries that are moving into Ghana? That's part of the reason why we're embarking on this um, public education drive. And thank you for having us in your studios this morning. We need to know about the opportunities out there and to prepare ourselves to take advantage of those opportunities. Now, the applications are open. It's online. They're citing the African headquarters in Accra. It is not just a Ghanaian um, office that they're opening. They're opening the office for the entire continent. And so they require... Um, like language skills from various parts of the continent. And so you would see that they're asking for Yoruba, mm. Igbo speakers in, in some of their adverts. Have Doesn't they asked for Chi yet? They haven't asked for Chi yet. Uh, well, we'll remind them that Chi <laughs> is also a language on the continent, so and they better that. focus on that space. So so is Ewe and Ga. They need to look at that. Yeah. And Hausa, they need to look at that as well, as well. So the opportunity is open to all interested young Africans to apply. Ghanaian um, tech, I'm not going to say entrepreneurs, but those who are uh, interested mm. or those with digital skills also need to apply. We're not going to handpick you and say, oh, okay, we've got you a job. Go and work at Twitter. No. You're not going to ask for quotas, for example, uh, when Twitter comes. Oh, I, it won't be fair to the other countries. You're getting the physical presence of Twitter here. That gives you an advantage over any of the others. So I'm not sure we're going to be having conversations about quotas for Ghanaians. But they would be here. You can walk into the offices and, and seek more information about how to also engage in their space. They will be opening tech hubs and, and engaging with the tech hubs that are existing here so that they can also get a feel of what, how, what it is like to work in a world-class uh, social media giant's environment. And... 
once you acquire those skills too, they are so easily exportable that you can sit in Accra and work anywhere in the world. And we're also looking at the, the possibility of business process outsourcing, um, companies following them here, and Jack Dorsey will be living in Accra. Will he? Yes, oh my gosh. from about June. Nice. He's moving in for six months to live on the continent, but he'll be based in Accra. Mm. So that will be, this will be his base while he visits the other countries on the continent. And I'm hoping that his friends would also follow him to come and, and, and see what he found so special about Accra, and they will enjoy it and love it here. So their businesses would also follow them here because when they see the fine country that we have and the very knowledgeable young people excited at the opportunity who are going to take advantage of it, you know. So it's, a, it's going to energize this whole space. But go out there and apply. And it is not just limited to Ghana alone. So put in your application and you will also be able to get in. Fantastic. Very bright uh, note. Outlook. There. Yes. Uh, absolutely. We're going to end on that bright outlook because <laughs> yeah. we can go down all the sorts of roads. Time is all gone. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 could, we could actually be talking about. Um, yes. People have asked a few questions. We don't yeah. get to get into them, unfortunately, because we didn't get to have enough time. But I just want to read one of my, the last four comments. So Manny uh, Kaba says, my favorite minister and doing very well in the communications ministry, Patrick Boakon, competent minister. Ah. Uh, and then somebody else says, God bless you, mummy, for your good work. And thank then finally, you. Ursula is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's your just... weekend treat. And we want to say thanks to the Honourable Minister for joining us. Um, obviously issues and nothing is as hunky-dory as, as, uh, uh, on all sides. And cybersecurity, as uh, the Minister has talked about, is a challenge that is certainly, they, they, they know how important it is. And that's one of those questions that was asked about the cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the question that we can't ask uh, answer right now is policing the telcos. Mm -hmm. We've got big... our eye on the ball. That's my <laughs> short answer. Okay, because there's always this challenge about data, yes. a very, very, very personal question is about the data, the theft of data. I know. Those I know. Things. Yes. Well, we're working on that. Right. We, we, I just had meetings with two or three, two, two of them this week, and, and we're working on that with a regulator. So you should be hearing something very soon. <laughs> Most that. excellent. I want to say thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for taking the time and also for the information. I love it. I'm going to say we're going to complain. I'm complaining on behalf of Nanaya. Uh, that, um, <laughs> Did I tell you? I there's a lot of information that you've put out today. Uh, this whole Cisco certification. I'm talking about the little exciting things that the youth mm. really want to hear about. Um, the whole idea of the Na National Cyber Security Authority. Mm. Uh, and, and there's a lot of information, uh, and not a lot of it gets out. I know. So this is going to be a complaint more than anything else. That okay. <laughs> hold, hold your fire. We're going to do this once a month. Is that okay? Ah, Fantastic. Works for us. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good with that. We're, we're not challenged Fantastic. by that. But thanks so much. Um, Honorable Ursula Usuekufu <laughs> is the Minister Responsible for Communications and Digitalization. And... Um, Big challenge, but uh, she seems to have her eye on the ball and the ability to do and deliver. And thank you for your time. It's a great pleasure to be here with you. And um, the time went by too quickly, yes. but we'll do it again. Yeah, and a merry <laughs> weekend to all of you people out there who listen to this station. And, you know, coming up this evening, of course, you've got a chance to hang out with Kofi Abuchi. Uh, on uh, um, as he does his town hall talk, and you got a chance to hear from um, uh, Caroline uh, later on this morning, and uh, all those other programs. There's good stuff that coming up this weekend. We are going to say bye bye. Oh, say we are going to say bye bye. Do you have I a happy think... birthday you want to say to anybody? Uh, do I have a happy birthday I want to say to? But well, other than uh, uh, the Justice Loveless uh, Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, is it her birthday? Yes. Oh, Erasy, yes. happy birthday. Ah, you see, you need somebody else. I don't know why people oh. just need to take advantage to take the microphone when <laughs> you've already said bye-bye to them and they were going there. No, Erasy, uh, 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 happy uh, birthday, uh, why? It's, it's important to get Erasy's <laughs> birthday in. Uh, and to say, uh, those of you who have thoughts about uh, being part of this exciting new digital future in Ghana, please message us. Use our, our social media handles. Send us your ideas about the businesses that you're hoping to develop on Facebook.